Hi, Dr. Nicola Dellinger coming to you live. Um, and I have this burning awareness that I just really wanted to share with you today. And that is the question of, are you following your pleasure? And um, what's come up for me is that so oftentimes we are holding space for other people. We are holding space for somebody else to show up and love or accept or appreciate or acknowledge who we are as people. But really, and then we end up kind of running around um, taking care of them <laughs> and doing things that we hope will get their recognition or their acknowledgement or their love. But really what we could be doing is actually holding more space for ourselves. And so what I mean by that is stepping more into I'm doing this because I want to be doing this. So letting go of obligation and allowing that inspiration to come up. Um, but oftentimes when I talk about this with the folks I'm working with, there's kind of a little bit of a blank stare that happens because so often we don't actually even know what it is that we want. Um, we're, we're distracted, we're not connected. And so that's always the very first place to start is to slow down, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and get connected with that heart center because that right there, that wisdom that lives right here within you always, always knows what you might want, what the next step is. And maybe you don't know what you want to do at the end of the week or in a year from now, but in this moment, you know what would please you. And for me, the next thing I'm going to do is see another patient. Um, and that actually is pleasing to me. And when it isn't, I actually try to make more space in my schedule for me. What I've also come to realize, for example, is that work, um, so seeing people first thing in the morning, right at eight or 8.30 is a little bit early for me. I like to start my day with a little bit more routine, um, but I don't love getting up at five o'clock in the morning. And so I just closed off um, an hour of my Tuesday mornings to make more room for me to go and move my body before I jump into the office. Um, I'll give you another example. Yesterday, um, there's towels. We have different towels in my bathroom, and some of them are beige, and some of them are dark brown, and I don't like the dark brown ones. So I got rid of those ones out of the bathroom, and now I'm using the, the beige ones that are lighter brown, and I changed the color of the hand towel in my, in my bathroom. Um, I'll give you another example. This morning, I was kind of hustling, and I was putting on you know my oil and rubbing and you know hustling, and I started laughing and realizing, hey, slow down. There is enough time for me here. And so I actually took maybe an extra 30 or 45 seconds and applied the, the lotion or the oil to my body in a slow, loving way, taking a few moments to really appreciate this, this amazing body that I get to inhabit. So that's what I mean by choosing to be led by your pleasure. Um, I know we think of pleasure as always being, or maybe oftentimes being sexual, but it doesn't, it could mean that by all means, that's fantastic too. But it could also just mean what is pleasing to you in this moment. And sometimes that's showing up for our partner and, and saying, you know, holding a ton of space when they're going through something. And sometimes it's disengaging and saying, you know what, I, I'm not in a space to do this out of loving authenticity right now. So let me know how this lands for you and those places where you realize that you're not choosing what pleases you because X, Y, and Z has to be done and realizing how much more can be created when you choose out of your pleasure and the easy ripple effect that that has. So thank you so much for joining. Can't wait to meet uh, with you again soon. Talk to you soon later. Bye-bye.